Okay, Cyber Fright number 24. Let's talk about Encryption 101. What is encryption? Well, encryption is used uh, a lot today, and it's really, by and large, a very good thing uh, as it relates to the transfer of data securely. And ultimately, if you were to think about it, it is a way that um, you have a basically a, uh, a relationship with someone that has the key to unlock the files, if you will. It's done with certain uh, so that whenever you like go to HTTPS, you buy an item on Amazon, there's a third party authenticating the relationship between you and Amazon that is basically keeping score to say that you are you and Amazon is them. And there's a, a, a pre-shared key that is being exchanged there that is an, uh, enables that traffic to uh, be uh, encrypted as well as to identify the parties that are transacting. So encryption can really get pretty complicated, but let me tell you some very basic ways that you need to be using encryption. If you're running a Windows 10 machine, and most people are today, you can right mouse click on the drive, like browse to my computer, look at your drive, right mouse click and say encrypt with uh, BitLocker. BitLocker is a form of encryption that comes with all Windows 10 machines. And in doing that, uh, you're basically gonna make that drive where if it, someone were to steal your device and they didn't know your username and password and the machine was unpowered, let's say they took the hard drive out and tried to steal your data, they can't without having the encryption key. The only experience that you're gonna see from that is during boot up, you're going to, uh, you know, you may have to put in your password or a, or a particular password in order to boot the device, but really they've kind of gotten all along that, away from that so that you're able to, it identifies with the particular hardware in that machine. So as long as you're, that machine is running, you're going to be able to just start it up, uh, but in the event that that machine, uh, the drive was to be lost, the bad actors can't have access to your data because it's encrypted. If you've been watching our cyber fright tips and you're concerned about the overall security of your company, or maybe you want to know where your risk is and if you're applying your uh, your IT budget in the right way, well, you can take us up on a what we call a cybersecurity starter pack. And in this cybersecurity starter pack, we're going to come in. We're going to do a dark web scan. We're going to give a free uh, phishing email uh, to all of your staff, as well as cybersecurity training. We're also going to take a look at your Office 365 portal and do a network evaluation in order to kind of help you rank your high, medium, and low risk, as well as put together a one-page technology roadmap uh, based on what actions you should be taking to get the most out of your IT budget. In order to take us up on this free um, cybersecurity starter pack, all you have to do is go to askbis.com slash cybersecurity dash starter dash pack. And we'd be happy to come out and we'll spend some time with you and get it to where you can sleep a little better at night from these cyber criminals.